Hello and welcome to Poor Crazy Violent America. Now news just coming in about this girl, 24 years, who she's been in prison for you know, 24 years and uh, what she did. Okay, the young woman who tweeted too drunk to care just minutes before a deadly head-on collision that killed two on the Sawgrass Expressway was sentenced to 24 years in prison on Monday. Now my question is, this is the girl in question. Who on earth does such stupid things? I mean, first of all, you should, if you've drunk, you should not be driving at all. And on top of that, you tweet of all the things. I can not recall myself ever tweeting while I'm on the, out, you know. For least of all, driving, even otherwise. I, I don't recall myself tweeting in particular that too drunk to care this. So stupid. Some more news. The young Florida woman who tweeted too drunk to care just minutes before a deadly head-on collision that killed two on the uh, Sawgrass Expressway. This is the same news. Was sentenced to 24 years. Her name is Kyla Mendoza. Pleaded guilty in February to two charges of DUI manslaughter in the November 2013 deaths. These are the people who died. Caitlin Ferrant and her best friend Marisa Catronia, both 21 at the time. And this girl is 22 years old, will also serve six years of probation after her prison sentence. So she's 22, so 24 you can imagine. So 42 plus 4, she'll be 46 when she will be eligible to, uh, to be released. Before she was sentenced, a tearful Mendoza read a letter in court to ask for forgiveness. What the fuck? I mean... There's no question of forgiveness in my opinion. This is really stupid. This is really stupid. And that's why I, I really look at the craziness which comes out of America day in and day out. And I really wonder, who does these kind of stupid things? Who does these kind of stupid things? First of all, like I said, if you're driving, if you're drunk, you should not be driving. And if you're driving, you should be in complete attention you should not be doing stupid things like texting like first of all you know and, and the, this is not the only incident there have been so many incidents like these you know these incidents of people uh, texting while driving like unfortunately probably few times i may also have texted while driving but then that text per se would be in such a position while I'm in complete control, you know. So there's the chances of my, the, you know, things going haywire are so unlikely. So in this case, you know, it's that, so, so strange. And what I generally typically read about is these instances where people are texting and driving super fast. That's of course where, you know, the things are likely to go horribly wrong. Otherwise, if you're really, really slow and you're texting, you're quite likely to be okay. And any, any way better than that, you know, suppose you're not drunk or anything, but if you have to text, you can just stop, park, text and get on with life. And today, thanks to technology, there are so many ways you can have your phone connected through Bluetooth. Nowadays, a lot of your smartphones have you know, voice uh, enabled systems where a lot of things can be done through voice instead of your having to physically text. So the, under such circumstances, these type of incidents come across as extreme stupidity. So I, you know, in my opinion, frankly, she got what she deserved. Because whatever it is, her 20, 24 years of her life would be taken. But she took, she permanently took away the lives of these two people whose you know, these are the people in question, Caitlin Ferrante and her best friend, Marisa Catronio. Their lives are not going to come back ever. So, you know, in that sense, I think the correct punishment has been given out. So that's the point. The, the takeaway from this should be that please don't uh, text while driving. Or in this case, like, like what does it show? It shows an attitude, you know, an, okay, an issue of attitude that uh, she was drunk she should not have been driving at all and then i think it's about audacity as well that you have the audacity to too drunk to care you bloody well care now now that you know 24 years of li your life are going to be taken you bloody well care so i think that's the key takeaway from this